Okay, this little device here is a really interesting little device used on hot water boilers. It's an automatic bleed. Uh, one of the big problems with hot water boilers is they get air in them. And the air will stop the flow of water. Well, if there's air in a system, this is placed in the line. It's usually placed in a high spot. And in addition to a high spot, it's usually placed in an area of piping that the water has slowed down. High speed, if the water is coming through at very high speed, uh, the bubbles will just bypass this thing. If, uh, commonly we'll put this at the top of a riser that comes up to uh, branch out and the T at the top will put it up there and the, the bubbles tend to go up in this thing. There's a little float inside it and when the level drops below a certain point because there's air instead of just all water in there then uh, it opens and air passes out of here. I'm going to cut this thing apart, we'll take a look at it and see how it works. Okay, here's this bleeder opened up. By the way, this is a Hoffman number 79. They make a little tiny one, I think it's called a Hoffman 67, that you see commonly on small units. Uh, but they both work the same. This float, uh, when it goes up, it closes off a valve here. And you really can't see in there. I don't know that I could get that small anyway. Okay. The water comes in the bottom and air bubbles will come in as they go through the pipe. And normally this will be, the flow will be up. And that will close the valve on the top. If we get air bubbles in there, then the water level is going to drop because the air displaces it and then this is going to come down and when it comes down this valve up here opens up until there's no, uh, there's no more water in it or no more air in it and it closes again. Very very simple very effective device usually when you work on boilers you bleed them, you do an initial bleed on them but commonly boilers will need more and uh, there will be uh, air entrained in the water the pumps tend to entrain it uh, and if the, if the uh, velocity of the water is pretty high they tend not to come out so easy so you put one of these things in on a high spot and hopefully on a slow spot and it should bleed the air out. So it is a self-bleeder, works all by itself.